Behind the news with journalist Mark Taylor Canfield. Hello, this is Mark Taylor Canfield, and for today's MTC report, I am going to show you my new camera. You see, I've been wanting a decent camera to do my journalism and some music videos and uh, my MTC report on YouTube. So I've been checking out cameras and DSLRs, mirrorless cameras, and camcorders, trying to figure out what is a prosumer uh, alternative for me so that I can get some good high definition video. Well, I decided to go for the Canon technology because they have a great reputation as far as photography and the sensors are good and I trust their quality. So I ordered something from Amazon and no, I didn't pick it up at their lockers that have different names in Seattle, like people, like one's called Ruby. Uh, no, I didn't go to their automated lockers, but I wish I had actually, because unfortunately the delivery person left my very expensive camera outside of my door in the hallway, which is not a good way to deliver your products. But anyway, let's look at what we got. Welcome to the MTC Report. This is Mark Taylor Canfield in Seattle. By the way, I hope you like my woodblock printing there. I did that myself tonight at the South Lake Union Block Party in Seattle. It was a big event. And, uh, yeah, they had this big event called the Steamroller Smackdown, where people use a steamroller in order to press ink impressions like this so you can make those strips. Yes, it was a real steamroller. But I wanted to start right now by showing you a little bit about some of the uh, equipment that I'm already using and how I'm going to use this with my Canon uh, camcorder. This is uh, my K44s. It's an AKG headphone, so I'll be able to plug these into my camcorder and then I can monitor the sound that way. These days, I've been using this camera, which is, surprisingly enough, a GE, a high megapixel camera, D DSLR, and this is an X-Grip. So this is what I'm gonna put my, I'm gonna attach my video camera to this. Um, and there are many reasons to have this. And then you'll have mics out in front, or lights, or whatever you need. You can use this as a, as a cold shoe, as they call it. I'm actually using a vocalist microphone for rock bands, which I've used many times, and this is a Shure microphone. They're really solidly built, they're great vocal mics, and we'll go ahead and use that for some of my YouTube reports. But eventually, I'm going to get a stereo system so that when I'm shooting film, I actually can uh, shoot in stereo field. Don't go anywhere. The MTC Report with Mark Taylor Canfield continues next. So here it is, folks. Here is my box. All right, this is what I got from Amazon today. And here it is. It's a Canon Vixia. That's right. 
an EOS PowerShot Vixia. And what this is, is it's a video camera, right? But it's got some pretty good technology in it, so it's not your average video camera. Uh, they sell these at a professional video store in Seattle. It's very famous called Glazers, who a group of people that I consult with quite a lot. So you open the box here. I haven't even looked in here yet, but got some information about the camera and the warranty and all of that. And then let's see what we've got in here. So we're going to unpack this right live on the camera. What do we got? Oh, some cords, a USB cord, of course. Got to have that so I can connect it to my computer, and download the files and do some editing. So those are good. And we've got our charger. This is very important because without this, you can't really use the thing. So that's good. What else we got in here? Uh huh. Right, it's part of the, it's the battery. Okay. So there's a lot of interesting things in here that we'll check out later. But what I'm really interested in is this Canon video recorder. It's quite small, actually. This is all like micro uh, component system stuff, which I kind of like because it's so light and easy to use. But here it is. It's a Canon. Uh-huh. And this, as you can see, is a Vixia HFR700. And it shoots high definition video. And that's where the battery fits on, like a traditional camcorder style. Now what's nice about this is that you've got a headphone out. So there you go. I mean, consumer uh, camcorders don't normally have headphone outs. It's also got a microphone input. So I can put a really nice mic, something like this, into it, right? I don't have to rely on any kind of internal microphone, which on most camcorders uh, really sucks. So actually, I'm currently involved in a journalism project to document the total eclipse on August 21st. And by the way, on another note, I've also been communicating with the BBC World News Service. But we'll be doing something for Democracy Watch News. And uh, so I'm going to be using all this equipment, including the Canon Vixia HFR700. You know, I will have other equipment with me just as a backup. So I've got my looks here, my Panasonic uh, Vivitar, which... Uh, this is just a cheap video camera, but it shoots in high definition, so that's always helpful just as a backup. In case something goes wrong with my main recorders, I've got um, my digital uh, Memorex digital recorder there, which is one way to, to record sound. It's one way, and that helps because then you're not having to record it on the camera. And then just a good 35 um, millimeter uh, single reflex camera, which, you know, they have not gone out of uh, style, folks. This is the real thing. This is a, a Minolta. So 35 millimeter film right there. That's what we used. And so all of this stuff I will be taking with me on this trip, including also an extra microphone just to make sure. And this will actually be attached here like that. So that's how that works. And then you can extend it with a boom mic so that you can do some good interviews with people using the camera. Uh, this is the camera that I was uh, filming the South Lake Union block party tonight with. And it works great for rock shows. It's really light and easy to move around and pretty good definition. Here's my Canon. This is exactly how I'm going to attach this too. Same way, right here on the X grip, so that you have an, another way of moving it around. I mean, you get much smoother pans, right? When you use it, especially if you're using both hands and you want to pan around the room, you can just kind of grab it with one hand, grab with the other, depending on where you want to go. It makes it smooth. And like I said, with the, the cold boot here, right, we'll have the microphone up there and whatever other 
kinds of equipment I want to attach up here or here. Um, flash, maybe lights, you know, something like that. And then also I'm going to get a wide angle lens for this Canon, Canon camera so that I can get up closer, you know, in my close up shots. Because so I would also like to use this for some cin cinema work, some Nick Savage Private Eye, my film noir series. I'd like to use this for that. Because I think it would be fun to use this in many other formats as well. Also got my drone to use uh, to just show kind of like what happens over the area during the eclipse. So I got that ready to go. With the drone, I'll be able to uh, control it uh, the video at least on my cell phone and my Android so I'll also be using my Android which I'm actually shooting this video with right now uh, to also document the Eclipse so that's my unpacking today of my new camera that's right folks it's a Canon so I trust uh, the technology they've always been very professional be respected by professional photographers and it's a Vixia HF R700 so this is high definition folks I'm really looking forward to using it from now on on my video camera on my video uh, channel on YouTube I'm really psyched that it has headphone jack and an uh, external microphone too so I can put whatever mic I want, I want in this alright I think we're ready to go to check out the uh, Eclipse, don't you? I mean, now I just need to get my tent and sleeping bags together and some food and hit the road. Once upon a time, there lived a group of people with amazing superpowers. They called them the super delegates. These super beings were like judges who got to decide who should be nominated as candidate for US president. Meanwhile, surprise candidate Bernie Sanders came out of nowhere and began attracting huge crowds at stadiums and arenas across the country. Thousands of new young voters joined the party, and it truly was a party. Superhero Bernie Sanders. Report signing off. If you like my videos, then definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel. We have over 300 videos uploaded there, so and all sorts of music and free movies. So, the MTC Report.